is it really that challenging to be a female MC at this point? I asked last year, everyone thought I was crazy. One year later. It still is. It's a male dominated industry. And then on top of that, females in the industry that are, that are where they are right now, popping like that, don't reach back. For instance, perfect example, Drake, DJ Khaled make one call and have 10 niggas on one song. All the most popping niggas in hip hop on one song. Where in the fuck have you seen that since uh, Ladies Night? Or Lady, Lady Mama Lady? Shit like that. And those were, those were singers, you singers and rappers. But since Ladies Night, it, it's, it hasn't been done. Why? Because females, a lot of females in, in this generation don't have the mentality as Missy Elliott back then. Little Kim. What they was they was like what let's fuck it yup let's all do it let's kill some of these niggas off and make more room for us and that's my mentality personally I want a lot of these dudes to give up their spot to make more room for us just like I want Nikki to be like yo what up let's all do a record together let's show these niggas how we how females can do it like them if not better it, it takes one phone call but it, it's not being done and it, it's mind boggling to me that all these dudes can do it, but females won't, so. But do you, you have an answer? Have you stumbled into an answer yet? Females are just, I guess, a little bit more territorial, or, or maybe someone's just afraid of per permanently losing their spot because someone else might come in and be a threat. But even still, it's hip hop. Like, there's room for all of us. I don't get it. They always, they always highlight one person, make it seem like that's that's it. No, that's not. There's so many female MCs out here that are so talented and being overlooked or not given the shine that they should be. Myself included. But I don't know, man. I can't force people. Oh, shit. I can just make great music and and wait for the wait for the world to catch up. I think it's really interesting that. Every, at least in the first season, every, each of you <clears throat> has a male mentor. <laughs> like all of you still kind of in a way being presented by a man. That was, that was pretty much my thing too. Like when I, when I got with Tank and even uh, previous to him, I've, I've, I've had offers to get down with Cruz. For instance, French Montana, who, you know, every time I see him, he shows me tremendous love. Chinks, R.I.P. to Chinks. Chinks was the same way with me. Yo, Sai, what up? You good? How you been? And, um, you know, French was like, come on, Coke Boy First Lady. His, oh, his manager, Gabi. Yo, come, let's do this shit, Sai. And I, at first I was like, yeah. But then I thought about it. I'm like, you know what? Let me go over here. Let me do this TV show. And, and, and let, me, let me try to make this shit happen without that crew. Like, honestly, yeah, I have a male mentor, but he's an R&B singer, Tank. Tank is over here, all the way over there. I'm right here. Even Tank be looking at me sometimes like, Saya, I, I don't know what call to make, man, because I might not be able to make that call, Saya. But now, like, he, get, he, he, he got it, and he's, he's starting to make sure that he can make those calls now. Like, he's working on Sex, Love, and Pain Part 2, the album. And the music that he's about to put out, like, it's not him. It's, it's him telling the world like, okay, I, I get it, y'all want that old tank, but this is me. Now I'm finna be on this shit right here that niggas wanna hear, a little bit of that trap, that little trap R&B shit. And it's so dope to me. But by him doing that and, and making different type of music that this generation wants to hear, he can open up a lot more doors for me and that's what he really wants to do. I can't go and do a, a show with him and Frankie Beverly. <laughs> Or him and fucking Jagged Edge. <laughs> like, nigga, what? I would come out next to people gonna be like, well, who is that? Who's this young lady up here rapping? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I can't. So, we working on it. Yeah. At the taping last week, though, <clears throat> at the end when everyone's doing their other tracks, other than the one that's, I think, is the finale. Yeah. You brought out your artist. I did. My artist Smoke. You Smoke? Yeah. 
supposed to do? Smoke is my guy, man. Smoke is, he's super talented. Like, I can't wait for, he, he actually, he's my barber. <laughs> oh, and we was in a chair one day, and he was just, he was like, yo, Sia, listen to this. So I was watching it, it was this video in the songs. I'm like, nigga, nigga you kind of hard, bruh. So I'm like, yo, let's work some shit out, man. Why don't you come fuck with me? And yeah, I brought him on board. I got him, I got my artist, uh, Papa, from Brooklyn. I grew up with him. Um, I'm helping out my man, Lala Boom. He's also from my hood, my man, Swedge. So I got artists, you know what I mean? Like, I got artists that I, I want to help push and, you know, really help them achieve their dreams. My man, Interstate Lee. He, like, these are all cats from my projects that I grew up with who I know have amazing talent but just just don't have no pull right now. So I'm their pull for them. And and I'm really about to go hard this summer and, and and get these guys out there. Do you have a female MC? No, not yet. I've been I've been searching. I ain't even gonna lie. I've been searching because I would love to have a female MC on my roster. Yeah, definitely would. It's really interesting, right? I mean, you know, the challenges that women face, and then even women who are in the position right now even have a hard time yeah. to find. As you describe a talented female MC, is it really difficult? Are there just not I mean, that many of y'all? They, I mean, they out there, but what I'm looking for specifically, I haven't came across yet. Gotcha. What know are you looking I mean? for? I want, I want a lyricist like myself. I want someone who, who done been through some shit in life and can write about it. And you know what I mean? Like, who's not afraid to tell their story. Fair enough. Yeah.